Hello, my name is Claire Martin and I'm principal of Bradford Girls Grammar School. Um, welcome to this open evening uh, presentation. Um, I'm really sorry that you're not able to come around the school as you would on a normal open evening or open day uh, where you could get a real impression of our school and meet our wonderful staff and students. Uh, but hopefully this presentation will give you the information that you need uh, to be able to feel confident to trust us with the education of your daughter. So welcome to Bradford Girls Grammar School. Our school has a long and rich history of success. We were founded in 1875 and we were the first secondary school for girls in Bradford. The first headmistress wanted girls to be able to think for themselves and not to be crammed with a mere smattering of knowledge something that I'm sure you will all agree is really important uh, and, and close to our hearts today. So our purpose is encapsulated in our school motto, which is aspire, succeed, lead. Yes, we want fantastic GCSE results for our girls and they do achieve significantly higher than national average. And I will show you some evidence of that later on in the presentation. But also, we want them to leave school with firmly rooted values, to be the sort of people and citizens that we want in society, to be respectful, empathetic and to have integrity. We also want girls to have a thirst for knowledge, a drive for ambition and the skills to be future leaders in whatever field they may decide to go into. So our mission of the school. Um, Aspire, first of all. We want all girls to have broad horizons, to be looking way beyond the confines of their locality and to be thinking big things, to be aiming very, very high. To be aiming for the best occupations, universities and careers and to be ambitious and relentless in that pursuit of success. Succeed. What does that mean? What does success mean to us here at Bradford Girls Grammar School? Well, firstly, yes, we want all our girls to achieve fantastic GCSE results and their teachers will work extremely hard to support them to do so. But we want more than that. Success for us means that we want our girls to be confident to take on challenges, to be able to learn and relearn. We don't know what the world will, will look like in five years time when they leave us. We need them to be ready to take on opportunities and challenges to adapt and to be flexible for whatever opportunities are presented to them. Lead. Our mission is that all girls will leave Bradford Girls Grammar School with the skills and capabilities to be future leaders on a national or an international stage. To do so, we will give them leadership experiences while they're at school so that they can develop the confidence and the attributes to be those leaders. We will also make sure that they develop the knowledge and understanding of the world and the business and economic environment so that they can access those opportunities. So we have our values which very much underpin the, that mission. Our values are extremely important to us. They're shared by the whole school community, by staff, students and parents. They describe how we do things at Bradford Girls Grammar School. They shape our culture and guide our behaviours and actions. Basically, they underpin everything that we do. You'll see our values on the left hand side of the screen and they spell out the first word of our mission, aspire. So A is for accountable. We ex expect everyone in our community to take personal responsibility for their actions. S is self-confident. We want people to be confident, to be able to be individuals, to express themselves and to take on challenges and opportunities. P is for perseverance. We acknowledge that things that are valuable require, often require really hard work and determination. We expect our students to take on challenges and to recognise that if they don't get things right first time, they can learn from that 
And by doing so, they will carry on improving until they can get it right. I is integrity. We expect everybody to be honest and truthful. One phrase that we use when we're describing integrity is doing the right thing even when nobody is watching. R is for respect. We're a community based on mutual respect. We respect one another. We expect children to respect each other and adults to respect one another and also our wider community of parents. And finally, E is for empathy because we really believe that being compassionate and also considerate towards others is extremely important. Our children recently have um, done a, um, a project whereby they have chosen one of these values and designed a character that depicts those values. And um, it was lovely to see all of these last week and to judge um, them and to, to gain from the vast number of entries the finalists that you can see on the screen today. Um, they're taken from primary and senior school. There is a mixture there of these, of these characters that we're now going to be asking a graphic designer to design properly for us so that we can use them around school, we can display them around school. But they're absolutely lovely. I was so pleased to see these. And the children really do understand the values at school and understand how that um, influences the way that we behave. So our strengths as a school and why you should feel confident to choose us for your First of all, we do, we're very, very fortunate to have a wonderful learning environment. Um, there's not many schools at all now that have their own swimming pool and our children do use the, that in lessons, in PE, and um, it's a fantastic um, resource to have. Our buildings are also very old, very historic. It feels like, like a university campus on site. We've got lovely grounds and um, a real feeling of that sense of history and, um, and the success and the people that have gone before you. It's also a girls only school and that does bring advantages. It provides us with an inspirational environment because girls then can express themselves freely and develop thinking. It's been proven through research that girls do better academically in single sex schools and certainly that is borne out in our results which are significantly higher than national. Being in a girls school also builds self-confidence as 60% of girls report that they feel more confident when they don't have the pressures that being in a mixed environment brings with boys as well. Our staff also are dedicated to how girls learn and they think about that in their planning and the way that they teach our girls. They provide more opportunities for discourse, for conversations, for um, uh, discussions and for feedback and support and we really develop that positive relationship to, between the girls themselves but also between staff and, uh, and the students in school. And we're free from stereotypes. Um, girls, unfortunately, girls as young as six can believe that men are inherently smarter. And that's obviously something that we can challenge in school, being just a girls' school. And it prepares girls for the real world. It prepares them, gives them opportunities to develop their public speaking and their discussions so that they really are confident when they leave here and take on their next. Another reason to choose our school is that we are a through school and that means that we have, we're able to provide leadership opportunities for our senior phase girls because they can work with younger children within our school. It also creates a family environment where often we have lots of siblings throughout the school and we have a real sense of community in the school. We have strong links with parents because we've known parents for a long time and we have that support and we can get feedback from parents about what we're doing so that we're continually uh, improving. And for girls that come from Lady Royd Primary, our primary school, obviously it's a seamless transition. But for the other girls as well, we have a, offer a fantastic transition programme that helps them settle in very, very, very quickly. 
Um, we were inspected in December 2019, um, and that was a follow-up to our inspection in the previous March. Um, I'm sure you may well have seen in the, that inspection report that we were judged to be inadequate. And one of the reasons for that was around safeguarding and particularly um, the way in which um, some allega staff allegations have been handled in the past. And I want to um, give you as parents absolute confidence that any issues that were related to that have now been, um, have now been dealt with. And this follow-up inspection, in um, monitoring inspection in, in December, um, did state that. And you can see there some of the quotes that were made in the letter that came after that inspection. It was stated that safeguarding concerns identified at the last Ofsted have now been addressed. So that is very much the case. Our safeguarding here is absolutely paramount to what we do. It's central to everything that we do. And you can see there on the quotes there, safeguarding is effective. Pupils feel safe and, and know whom to go to if they have concerns. Early help is offered to pupils and families as and when the need arises. Senior leaders are ambitious and staff morale is high. And I can vouch for that. Staff morale is high here. Staff love working here. And the, the uh, girls that come here also are really happy here. In March, the report, the inspection, did uh, note lots of positives about the school. And some of those are noted here. Pupils make strong progress in a wide range of subjects. The quality of teaching overall is good. Teachers have high expectations of what pupils should achieve. Pupils' behaviour is good. Pupils conduct themselves with consideration for others. And pupils demonstrate strong attitudes to learning. As I've already um, mentioned a couple of times, our school does gain fantastic results for our students and you can see there examples of those results. So first of all you can see on the screen there attainment 8 which shows students achievement across eight subjects. It shows that students achieve far higher, significantly higher than the local, uh, the local authority and the national average. You can see the local authority points for attainment 8 with 44.8, whereas our school achieved 56.91. This, this next graph shows Progress 8, which measures how much progress students make between the end of the primary school in Key Stage 2 and GCSEs when compared with the national. So the national there was 0.22. But our students make three times as much progress as the national and almost well, and three times more than, than the local authority also. Our, school, our students here, our girls, really do make great progress. In terms of their actual results, their GCSE results, you can see there as well the best grades, grades 9 to 5, which is equivalent to the old A star to C, a strong C. You can see there that our students there in the blue, 59.5%, uh, so nearly 60% of our, our girls achieve grades 9 to 5 in both English and in maths. And that compares with just 37% in the local authority or 46.6% nationally. So we are really proud of our results and uh, have confidence that they will continue to be as strong as that in years to come. When your daughters come to the school, you will be um, concerned and, and want them to settle in and to be happy. That I know as a parent myself, that's your, pri that you are your primary concern. You want your girls to be happy so that they can thrive. And so we work extremely hard on our transition programme. And there's another PowerPoint um, that I would urge you to, to look at, which gives some more information about the vast array of things that we do to help your daughters settle in quickly into the school so that they can quickly enjoy learning, make friends, be happy and embrace the opportunities of the school. There's a number of things mentioned there on the slide, but please do also look at the additional PowerPoint on this, on this how, how we support your children to settle in. 
one of the ways in which they do so, and the opportunities that we give them, are through a, um, a large number of extracurricular activities. And again, you can see some of the examples there on the screen from outdoor activities, and, and all of our Year 9 students do Duke of Edinburgh, which gives them a great chance to get out into the countryside to work as teams, develop leadership skills, and uh, really just enjoy outdoor learning through trips, sporting activities, and musical opportunities, arts and drama, and STEM opportunities. That, that really is a school that is rich of extracurricular and ways in which students can gain greater cultural understanding and those skills and capabilities we want from them um, to help them stand them in good stead for the future. In terms of the admissions process then, well firstly we are an extremely popular school, we're very very oversubscribed. You can see there in the table that in 2020 we had 404 applications for 140 places. So if you do want to apply to, to our school, and we do hope that you will, uh, please it's very important that you put us first on your application form. You apply through the normal way through Bradford by 31st of October but we also ask that you, that you complete a supplementary information form that comes directly here to the school. We will then be in contact about an, an admissions test that takes place on site uh, one day in, in November. The reason for that is that we want to make sure that we have a truly comprehensive intake into the school. Once the tests have been completed, students are put into bands and then we randomly select a number of children from each brand to make sure that we do have a diverse intake to the school. So thank you for listening to this presentation. Uh, we really look forward to receiving your application and to welcoming successful applicants into our school in September 2021. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. The details are there. We really look forward to hearing from you. Thank you again. Bye-bye.